Alright, this is the final video on my 1987 Fleetwood Prowler 24P. Uh, just finished doing some more work on it and got a buddy who works and wants to buy it, so it's gonna be gone in a little bit. I'm just gonna go through everything that I've done on it since I've had it. So the first thing back here is I put a screen behind here so that the big bugs can't get in the grates and I just put that in with some silicone caulk and it held it in the whole time. No problem with that. Ooh, big bug. Cicadas are everywhere. Um, right here I got a new gravity fill and new drain spout. That just was deteriorated and fell apart. Uh, so that was replaced. Um, just hit the hot water heater cover with some paint. And that's it over here. Um, me and my neighbor did this one. I think you saw a video, or I made a video on that. Um, he suggested drilling the pilot holes because the original adjuster had seized up and broke off. So now you have multiple levels you can put that at. So that is very nice. Oh, and I just got this recently, a little organizer for your chain and seven pin and everything. So that is it there. Around here, I haven't done anything. I sealed the awning up top. It's getting a little, uh, not, I guess, rips in it uh, from where the seams are. I just put some seam sealer from tending on there and it's holding up fine. Nothing's dripping through. Um, and the guy it's going to got me this nice cover for the stairs. So that'll be on there. Uh, I did paint the trim here on the window. Took it apart, resealed it, painted it up. Got some pictures on that. I don't think I made a video there. Uh, same time I did this guy. Just took it off, resealed it, hit it with some brown Krylon. Uh, I did put a new lock on. Silver, the uh, gold one that was on there was well worn. I uh, hit that with some white paint on the outlet. I did redo the rims. I think I have a picture album on that. I don't think I did any uh, video on it, but I just sand it or uh, hit them with some Brillo and repainted them with some white. Uh, I did get a new shield for this. I have a new actual light but I didn't put the whole thing up. That could be redone. Uh, I left that in there. Uh, no problems with the awning. And aside from being filthy, uh, I didn't do anything in the back either. So that's it outside. We went around the outside already. I'm gonna walk through the inside real quick and see what we've done in here. Um, there was a water leak and there was damage all up front. So this entire ceiling section up to the AC was ripped out and ceiling joists and everything redone. Um, no new vent, I just put what was there. Uh, I got some die core self leveling clock and some uh, turn bond tape on top of it outside so it'll never leak again, which was the point, the goal of it. Uh, I did, this camera, all right, I did paint everything up front. Um, my neighbor gave me some nice gray paint. I did the trim in and this guy the bottom outlet broke so I got this adapter and it had some USB ports on it, it worked perfect. Uh, I built this table, I didn't have anything up here, I used a TV tray and that was no good so I built this guy that folds up and out of the way and you can secure it for travel and I relocated the uh, water pump and I added a new switch here so the water pump works. I fixed, or I didn't fix, I got the fresh water system working last year, so that's good to go. But this other switch powers USB and 12 volt outlet under here. So you can plug in your phone or do whatever up here by the bed. Um, painting, more painting. All right, had a phone call, I'm back. The bed I made the frame for over top of the fresh water tank I got that working last year so that's good to go uh, the frame the futon was off a of free cycle 
So I got that for free and my neighbor took the metal frame and I got the mattress. Built this wood frame under here over the water tank and that's been my bed and couch. This is an old file cabinet, very heavy duty. Uh, I just repurposed the slides on some old wood that I had and cut the front down. And that is heavy duty enough to handle all the towing equipment in there. Got the smoke detector, the CO2 alarm is down there, or carbon monoxide, whatever. Uh, my dad came down and they had given me this sink for a Christmas present, I believe. Maybe birthday. Uh, but he came down and my brother was throwing away an old desk, so I snagged that and my dad came down and we cut it out to fit and put it in place, put the new sink in, and everything is perfect. Uh, this kitchen was redone second to last. I uh, hit the vent with some white spray paint and painted everything else. Uh, nothing uh, old original stove. Oh, this is where the switch was for the water pump that I relocated. I just jumped it in line so it's always hot there and switch on the other end is controlling it. Up here, uh, when I repainted this side, this was third to last, right before the kitchen, uh, I put the stereo up here. My brother had some 6 by 9s he was getting rid of, so uh, I used them in here. Uh, I had an old car radio laying around. Put the switch in line, so that'll turn that on, so you can keep it off if you're on battery power and don't want to use it up. See how much your battery is. I got a, I'm on land power right now, shore power. Um, I got a suitcase solar panel, so the charge controller and meter and everything on there. So I put that inside so I could see what the battery was at. Uh, my dad also is a contractor, did so much work in here. Uh, had this hardwood laying around doing nothing, so we put it in here. It was really cool. I learned how to lay hardwood with this, and it's just perfect for this place. We had just enough to do the whole thing. Uh, and underneath there is a bunk area, different color. Uh, the fridge was leaking ammonia, so ripped it out. Never worked since I had it. This was in over here where that was, and I had my office chair here before I was getting rid of it, so I just put that back in the office. Um, but I moved the fridge into here, and my neighbor helped me do that. Um, really wasn't much to it. He had some insulation that he was able to let me have and put it in there so uh, the sides are insulated with that and the top I just shoved in some extra stuff that I had then framed it out and it's all set and I built this little guy so you can keep it open for airflow when you're not using it and then if you move it and put it over one it will lock it in place for travel like that so this is what I just finished today, the paint in the back and then there was some water damage up here that I ripped out the ceiling and put some new paneling up, trimmed it and painted it, finished today with the last coat, uh, did the bathroom door too, that's real nice, I like that. Kind of a shame getting rid of it but time for the next project. Um, heater is working when I got it, my neighbor actually rebuilt the core, I got some spare parts off of eBay and he took the whole thing apart and got that working. Uh, there's a picture of it working. I don't think any video. The bunk I built for when my daughter came with me and I just finished back here so now that's all like a room and it was exposed skin where the previous owner had repaired a leak and never put it back. Uh, so that is now fixed, painted and all set. I uh, haven't done anything in the bathroom except for the toilet. I hit it with some white spray paint to brighten it up and I replaced the upper and the lower seal so that's now holding water where it wasn't before and that was well three years ago now when I got it but I haven't done anything in here so don't look. Um, that is it. That's pretty much storage. I have used it but not recently. So that is it for my camper rebuild. Everything is now done. This is just an archive of everything that I did and what it looks like. It is beautiful. I love it, but it's just big. 
so I am looking for the next project to be much smaller.